What's up, everybody? AJ here back again with another video. So, I'll be checking out GamesCon Opening Night Live, which was live stream like about 2 8, maybe <clears throat> about a few, about 12 ish hours ago. I originally I really wanted to watch this live, but seeing the fact that this was live at 2 a.m. in the morning. I was like, nope, there's no way I'm gonna watch this live because I'll be sleeping in a moment because the next day in the morning I'll, I'll be heading back. I'll be heading to work. So what I'm gonna do is <coughs> I'll be treating this as as like a live stream. As this um the video hits my eye, I'll be live reacting to it as though I'm react watching this live. So I'll be real you guys. I don't know what to expect in this game spawn. But I do know that there will be a new, <coughs> there will be a trailer for Street Fighter 6 between Terry. And from what I know, right, um, there's a new trailer for Hong for the collaboration between Honkai Scenario and Bit Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. And judging, and I'm seeing the, 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 the title right over here, apparently there's a new Borderlands game, a new Mafia game, and what is this? Secret level? I have no idea what this is. But I will say this. I tried my best to stay away from social media as much as possible. So these are the only things I know prior prior to reacting to this uh, GamesCon. So without wasting any more time, let's check out this GamesCon live stream and let's see what games um, have been announced and uh, what what games have um, release date has been announced? So let's just jump right into the games from Opening Night Live. All right, here it is, Gamescom Opening Night Live. Please welcome your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff, Jeff Keeley. Keely. Hopefully no one is gonna hijack the stage this time. But then again, the last time that somebody hijacked the stage was during Summer Game Fest uh, of 2023 and last year's Game Awards. Guten Abend Gamescom! And hello to everyone watching around the world. This is Opening Night Live from beautiful Cologne, Germany. And we have our biggest live audience of fans ever here at Cole Messe. Over 5,000 people together as a community to celebrate our love of games. And of course, millions of you watching online around the world, welcome. We have gathered for the grand kickoff to Gamescom, the world's biggest in-person video game event. And this is our sixth opening night live. Now tonight, Six. for the first time, we have a live sign language stream of ONL to make the show even more accessible. Thank you to Kaborski, who's signing the show right now. Thank you, Kaborski. Oh, we have a sign language. Now, while um, the game industry certainly has faced challenges here. this year, I know that ONL will get you excited about what's to come later this year and in 2025 and beyond. Now, over the next two hours, you're gonna see world premieres from studios big and small, including, yes, some new game announcements you're not expecting and some surprises, so get ready. Right. From Monster Hunter to Indiana Jones, Dune to Civilization, Call of Duty to Marvel Rivals, the most anticipated games will be on stage tonight because they wanted to be here with you guys at Gamescom, and I am so honored and grateful to have the opportunity to present these games None of them get just my attention to unfortunately. <laughs> None of the games that Jeff mentioned earlier on so it's just my attention. Right for the world premiere. I tried it. All right. Was he speaking German earlier on? There, a brand new game announcement. This one hasn't leaked, and it's exclusive right here at ONL. <laughs> it's a leaked. Right. Let's see what game it is. 2K? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this Borderlands? Is this Borderlands? 2K Gearbox, is this Borderlands? Is this Borderlands? I 
And speaking of which, I haven't, I haven't even played Borderlands 3. Played Borderlands 2. It was fun. But I was unable to finish it. Because there's way too much, too, there's way too many content on that game. <laughs> Let, let's be real. But at least I had fun with Borderlands 2 though, I will say this. Okay. Yep, it's Borderlands! I recognize that mask! I recognize that mask, that had to be Borderlands. Borderlands 4! Oh, it's like next year. Sorry, I forgot. This year's 2024. Next year is 2025. Right. That's right. Borderlands 4 is coming in. Oh, my brain. Sorry. Next up, October 25th marks the release of Call of Duty Black Ops 6. To give uh -huh. you an extended look at the campaign gameplay, please welcome John Zuck and Catherine Anderson from Raven Software. Okay. So we got some Black of Duty. Black Ops returns with an epic story and signature blockbuster action where players question everything and trust no one. It features an all new campaign with 16 new multiplayer maps with the return of classic prestige in theater mode and two brand new zombies experiences on day one. You'll see live MP zombies and Warzone game. You know, Black, uh, at the Black, Call of Duty the Black Ops series has August never failed so far, from what I understand. And but starting on August 30th, you'll be able to uh, join this the MP absolutely no way. I'm, I'm to gonna throw money on activation. Omni movement system for yourself. I'll be with you guys. But today, and as a matter of fact, right, I'll be with you guys. The, the rebooted Modern Warfare the campaign put a potential to be one of the prayer. best um, Modern Warf modern the Black Ops 6 campaign Modern Warfare games out there. A time of global turmoil but Activision decided to, to screw it up ever since Modern Warfare 2. Frank Woods, and they made it even worse by re-releasing Modern Warfare 3 what, exactly one year Together, after Modern Warfare 2. Troy Marshall and Jane Harrow, and Shut the by shame, of engagement, You'll unravel... A mind-bending conspiracy. If it were up to me, I would rather play the, the mission we're about to show you, uh, modern warfare. Has targeted I'll be a senator attending guys. a political fundraiser. Back when Activision and Infinity War were the, the gods underneath Washington DC. Call of Duty. This is most wanted. But now the Activision is just a company that is just a bunch of ca cash grabs. So we're gonna show up to this fundraiser, get what we need from the senator. Then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happening. The camera actually works. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Let's just hope seven. Black Ops Six could there. potentially be a great game, but there's absolutely no way I'm gonna spend money, throw money on activation. I have to, I have to pick it. The senator you guys. isn't giving interviews tonight, and he doesn't go anywhere without his security detail. I've marked a few leads that could help get you close enough to do the retinal scan. Take your pick. I got it on good authority that the senator stole some sensitive information from the people I work for. Who the hell are you? Black men and a senator with sex tapes. Can't beat the classics. I've cleaned up another of your messes. Lee Grisham, head of security for Aldrain Energy. Grisham might be our way to McKenna. GTE, really? Uh -oh. I modified the infrared image to highlight the capillaries in the senator's retina. It should have just enough resolution. What the hell? Please help. They took me during shift change. Knew our schedule somehow. Started shooting. And he did. We can do this loud or quiet. Okay. Go, go, go. 
Oh, that's an M4. He's really an M4 A1. I recognize it because I played Counter Strike during my teenage days. Okay. <laughs> oh crap. Guess what? You got my message. The old man says you're worth it. You better be right. Sev, we got the prize. Good. I'll get out. Fast. We've got party crashers up here. Great. You good to go? Am now. Fast forward. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, he's building an M4 with a silencer. Good luck with that. And so much of friend, right? Has there ever been a Call of Duty game that uses an M? They use it at M4? Well, that's neat. Nice work. But then again, they have this feature back in Black Ops Cold War. That car feature. The, the moment where you can pilot the, the, that mini car. They had that as well back in Black Ops Cold War. Even though I only watched the trailer and never played any of the Cold like ops, um, whatever call it, games. Easier coming down. Here. And they're going up. Almost home free. Oh crap! Now what? Oh! Adler. I got you. Man, you're heavier than you look. Thanks. Hope you have a plan B. Same as plan A. Go up. We'll just take the scenic route. Let's get moving. Forward again. Switching QO pistols is always faster than reloading. Wait, did he just throw a knife? If we can't That's a homing knife, wasn't it? Just like that, huh? Just like that. Ever do anything like this before? No, but I don't see any better options, and I'm running out of bullets. And we out. Whoa. Camping looks good though, I will say this. This looks wild, I will say. Okay, they're cooking. I I I I will admit. Okay, they're cooking. They're cooking. I will I will say this. There you go, Black Ops 6, more coming at Call of Duty next. And now I'm honored to introduce my co-host for Opening Night Live. You know her from her years of hosting League of Legends esports around the world. 
Did you know that she got her start as a competitive Unreal Tournament player? That's right. Please join me in welcoming to ONL Shocks. And hello, Gamescom. Thank you for the warm welcome, Unreal Tournament. That is uh, quite the throwback, but I am so excited to be here tonight revealing many of the games on opening night live and highlighting events happening during this Gamescom week in Cologne. Gamescom really is the best week for games worldwide every year, and I am so stoked to be back here with you all celebrating it. Now, it is my pleasure to share a message from Gamescom to you, our gaming community. Dear future me, I hope you are happy. I hope you visit wonderful places. Oh, this is for the we event itself. Some places far away. And that you always have the best adventures. That you fight for the things you love. Yeah. And that you love the things you do. Dear future me, my favorite thing in the world is to play. Do you like to play too? Welcome to Gamescom 2024. <laughs> yes, the future is here and we are ready to play. Let's take a look at this fun trailer. PDP. Right. What the hell? What's with the NPC though? What the hell? Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border. Uh. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border. What am I looking at? GTA? <laughs> What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Love me? Hold on, is this Diablo? Or is this something else? Uh... Hold on! Is this Ghost Simulator? Code Simulator Yeah um, it, I was wondering what the opinion, hell uh, That looked like the goat of all remasters I was wondering what okay, the hell was okay, that okay, Turns uh, out it's Ghost Simulator We are expecting hundreds of thousands of fans I've heard of it okay in person, I've heard of it cannot be here with us, But I've never worry. played it join us virtually by okay. going to Gamescom Global and you will Global never Apple, where you can explore and discover what the world get me to play it has in store for you because this and is just not my cup of tea cup of the, of the event so tune in to Gamescom Studios broadcast by IGN on Twitch or on YouTube now we have some news on Persona 3 Reload and its next DLC DLC episode Igis the answer coming on September 10th. It's time to reveal a surprising boss fight coming to the game. Uh, why do you Tomorrow, have to reveal- and all the days after it will be March 31st. Why do you have to reveal a boss it's fight? Like Tartarus all over again. There is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. Let's just open it, then we'll know. Something's wrong. Should really check out Persona 3 and Persona 5 though. Wait! Ravage them. You'll never see I was just saying, Persona. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. They brought in the dude, um, Joker from Persona 5? Little Joker fun there. All right. Next up, we have another new game. Did they just brought in Joker right from Persona here. 5 into Persona 3? Gamescom opening night live. Okay. I should really check out Persona 5 uh, to be real. Techland. Okay, this has to be a new game of some kind. It's close. Stay here. Stand guard. This better not be Predator. On me. I'm just guessing, okay? I'm just guessing. Bloody Is this Predator? This has to be a... Oh, dying light, the beast. Oh, so this was the game that uh, the game was. Um... There you go. Kyle Crane is back in a new zombie adventure set in the dying light world with 20 hours of gameplay, a new open world region, and more in dying light, the beast. Next, never play dying the light for the most wish listed okay. game right now on Steam, and also. Last I checked, the biggest single player game ever on Steam with over 2 million concurrent players today. Black like Myth Wukong. Wukong. Game Science in China, which is also out on the PlayStation 5. And right now, we've got the reveal of the launch trailer for you. Yeah, 2 million players on launch date. That's pretty huge. And, yet, and yes, Black Myth Wukong has already been uh, released earlier today, as a matter of fact. Technically, yesterday. Technically, yes, it was released yesterday. I'm just worried this might be another one of those. The music, though. I'm just worried that this might end up being another Souls game. But if it's something like. But if it's something like a. A fast-paced um, action game, then I might consider trying it. If I'm not mistaken, right, this is Game Science's very first game that they have developed. If I'm not mistaken, and yet it's already out. Ah, oh, fucking zero. Fifty days from now. What the hell? Neo Super Saiyan, Miss Cap, Phoenix, 
Welcome back to Gamescom opening night live. What the heck? Beautiful. What the heck? Live from the Comstruct Coliseum, it's time for everyone's favorite game. We just uh -huh. recently kidnapped celebrity guest contender Jeff Keighley at the starting line. Wait, starting line? And that battle cry proves how committed Jeff is to any project. Somebody see, somebody's having way too much fun with this, making this trailer. He's throwing everything at these contenders, but the GK machine is leading the way to the finish line. And the chat is blowing. What the heck? This, this shit. Death traps, unapproved nicknames, and a giant horse trying to hoof me? An eloquent and marketing friendly description of the game. Not to mention a perfectly timed transition to the world premiere trailer for King of Meat. Ready for action? Ready for mayhem? Ready for gold and fame pouring? I have no idea what the hell is going on right now. From the most twisted mind what the? Of the most I have, I seriously have no idea what the hell is going on, man. Into monstrous reality, it's like a nightmare in dungeon form. Somebody, somebody, definitely having way too much fun making this trailer. Somebody's having way too much fun making this trailer, man. But I will say this: this looks like a very good. Um, multiplayer game, but what it will be, I'm pretty sure it'll be. It's available on Xbox, PS5, Steam, and Nintendo Still Switch. Got it, Keely. Still got Ow. Welcome back to opening night. And Live. Here, real this yeah, time. there's now the we real announcement of King of Meat. <laughs> An online co-op spectacle for one to four players from Glowmade in Guilford, England, and Amazon Games for console and PC. And you can sign up at kingofmeat.com for future playtests. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about making these shows is that we get to introduce you to brand new games and teams like this one. Mm -hmm. To reveal their first game from their new studio, FuzzyBot, please welcome Fuzzy Tatan Bot. Tatanya Dislova and Max Spielberg. Oh. A new game. Hello? Max? Guys, welcome to ONL. I'm very excited to share this game with the world. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your studio, first of all? Yeah, well, first off, it's totally surreal to be here right now. Uh, we started the studio back in 2020, and the majority of us had um, come from the AAA side of the industry. And at the time, we were just thrilled to have our own game, our own IP. And we could never expect being on this stage tonight at the end of, uh, at the end of that run. The vision for our studio started with the idea of dreaming big and building smart. The concept for our first game, even early on, felt very unique and full of heart, and this helped us bring together a very passionate team of talented developers. It's through their skill, dedication, and true love for the game that we're able to be here tonight, going way beyond where we thought we'd be. Well, I got to play this a few months ago with you guys. I had a ton of fun. Tell us a bit about your game, Linked. Yeah, so our debut game is called Linked, Banner of the Spark. It's a co-op action hack and slash with a bit of roguelite and town building elements. And so we blended these ideas okay. together to create this cozy yet highly kinetic action game for players to brawl, build, and befriend a crew of adorable robots. In it, it's the year 3000, and you're going to take on the role as one of the last remaining humans on planet Earth. Allying with a friendly bot faction, you're going to aim to take down the combat army hell-bent on organic destruction. Players can play alone or with friends in this vibrant world of robots. Oh, it's a, either a or single or co-op game. A simpler way that I like to describe it sometimes is you go out and fight the evil robots and then collect their body parts to build a sustainable town of your dreams while saving the cute ones. We are incredibly proud to finally reveal the delightful world of Link's Banner of the Spark. And we hope the players get as much joy out of playing it as we have building it. 
Well, we're very excited to show up for, to the world for the first time. Let's take a look at the world premiere reveal trailer. Thanks, guys. World premiere. I'm already not sold. I'm already not sold. Just by looking at the... And how the game looks like. Yeah, this is not good. This is definitely not for me. Yeah, this is definitely not for me. I I almost I have to say this. Yeah, from the moment I saw the how the camera angles looks like, and I was like, okay, this is so not for me. This is so not for me. It might be fun for some people, but this is definitely not a game for me. And early access in two months' time. Well, I think we can okay. all agree on this fact. Fishing makes every video game better. Now, one of the things that I love about Gamescom is that it is a safe place for our diverse gaming family. And there is an amazing platform called Gamescom Cares that sh shares social and environmental responsibility projects that we care deeply about. Thanks to all of our partners who help to make this happen. You can learn more by scanning the QR code below. And now, the first look at the gameplay of Lost Records, Bloom and Rage, a narrative adventure from the creative minds behind Life is Strange. Phoenix? Do not want you. Plus, if you mention Life is Strange, right? The first. Honestly, Swan, I'm glad, but slightly surprised that you showed up tonight. When I saw your text, all these memories came flooding back. Hey. Yeah, even the character design really reminds me of um, Life is Strange. I remember Nora, her energy. Shit! Where's my fucking pick? The Thark one's her favorite. I remembered you. Nice one, Autumn. You were the coolest. Skateboarder's wisdom. Never land on your wrist. I want to see. Yeah, the character design really reminds me of Life is Strange. Whoa! Watch out! She was like a firecracker. This is serious. We're gonna need a real band name. How about Bloom and Rage? How could I forget? Oh, guys. Last week, my mom found a package on her doorstep. Wait, our Bloom and Rage? Are we in trouble? Okay. Oh, what's this? You'll excuse me if today's sermon is a little <coughs> different, but today is not a normal Sunday. Now what's this? I don't think this is left or dead. No more room in hell too. That game looks great. It's a uh, new look at the eight-player co-op of No More Room in Hell 2. 
from Torn Banner up in uh, Canada, where there are deadly consequences of not sticking close to your teammates, and I cannot wait to check that one out. All right, our next game, uh, it's been a long time coming for this next one. At the Game Awards in 2021, Embark Studios revealed Ark Raiders, a game that immediately struck a chord with players around the globe, a stunning future Earth where menacing Ark machines threaten humanity's attempts to rebuild. Well, Ark Raiders has evolved a lot since then, and now it's finally time for some news on what's next for this exciting action survival shooter. Mm. Where do we go from here? <laughs> okay, so 40, um, I believe it's 30 minutes in. This place. It had a good start, but then it, it slowly becomes... Uh, so far, nothing captures my attention. Look at us now. Wait, scratch that. Borderlands 4. So far, it's only Raiders. one. But I need to check out Borderlands 3, though. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is a good... Might potentially be a good game, but... Like I said, I'm not gonna throw a single cent on Activision. No way. Arc Raiders. It'll be nice if you show some gameplay footage. This is definitely another game that is completely not in my real house. It's definitely a cute game, I will say this. But this is so not for me. This is so not for me. Yeah, this is so not for me, man. Character design looks good though, I will say this. But this is definitely not a game for me. I'm pretty sure the, the, the opening night life is saving the best for last. The coziest open world game. Right. Oh, Warhammer. Oh, is it already out? Because I'm seeing um, reviews. Comments from IGN? Is the game already out? I've been blown away, yeah. These are re reviewers' comments. Heed the Call of War. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. What is early? Oh! It's early out next. It's out next month. Apparently, these um, re reviewers already have early access into the game. This better not be another hero shooter game, man. Please, buddy. People are already sick and tired of another hero shooting game. Oh crap, it's another hero shooter game. Wait. It's an ongoing game? Oh, this... Oh yeah, this is not a hero shooter. This is more like a... A VR game, a battle royale game, from the way I see it. Yeah, it's definitely a battle royale game. 
judging by the how the gameplay is Predecessor Uh okay What you saw right there was Predecessor a MOBA shooter built by an indie team from the ashes of Epic Games oh, MOBA. Paragon if you remember that one it enters 1.0 free to play release tonight Next up Path of Exile 2 from Grinding Gear Games it is nearing release and tonight Yes, we do have news on the early access date. Check this out. Path of Exile, okay. My son, are you clear of mind and stout of heart? I am. Are you ready to sacrifice? Sacrifice everything to become the savior? I will. Do you have the strength to sweep aside this world and build it anew? I must. Now, are you ready to fulfill your destiny? Yes, I am ready. Interesting. Very well, interesting. That looks absolutely great. Can't wait for that one. And now, Gamescom is known for the cosplay. The vision and dedication cosplayers put into their craft is an inspiration to us all. And to see these amazing cosplayer cosplayers, you can mm -hmm. tune in to the Gamescom Cosplay Awards on Saturday, August 24th at 5 p.m. And if you're into indie games, who isn't? You can watch the best indies of Gamescom in our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show tomorrow at 8 p.m. on Twitch and YouTube. Enjoy exclusive announcements and interviews all packed into an exciting one-hour show hosted by Shay Thompson. Plus, the Gamescom Event Arena, that is where I am standing right now and all of you are. It is the biggest and most elaborate stage at Gamecom, fu Gamescom featuring not only Opening Night Live, but additional live shows featuring creators, gaming events, and esports competitions that you can watch either in person or by tuning in online. Now, up next is a first look at the gameplay of June Awakening, the open world survival MMO, and news on when it's going to be released. There is another path for you. I believe this is the one where people go, Listen, Al Gaib! Right? You begin as a nameless prisoner. Sculpt your appearance, choose your background, and then crash into the planet. You are abandoned and alone. Wow. Hunted wow. by sandworms, scorched by the unforgiving sun, ravaged by sunstroke. Stick to the shade, chase the moving shadows, survive. Welcome to Arrakis, the most dangerous planet in the universe. Meet hundreds of other players in the vast online world. Befriend or betray those you meet. Form a wary alliance, in this case, a spit dart rifle and a still suit for your help taking down territorial deserters. Working with others will always increase your chance of staying alive. The deserter base. Climb to a vantage point. 
and prepare for violence. Your choice of weapons and abilities determines your strategy. Swordmasters lead the charge into battle, literally. Repel ranged attacks with a shield and then take them out, one by one. Deploy the Hunter Seeker and kill from the shadows. Take what you can from the Fallen. On Arrakis, nothing of value is wasted. Mine, harvest, and gather with your group to build bases and unlock more advanced equipment, like the Blood Purifier. Refine the blood you collected from your enemies to extract drinkable water. Huh. Craft improved equipment using fabricators. Replicate your bases in new locations with the blueprint system, and then sell blueprints of your architectural wonders to other players. Lead your group to become a guild. On Arrakis, a nameless prisoner... This is definitely a multiplayer game. ...construct an ornithopter. And this is 1000% a multiplayer game. Yours to claim. This is Dune Man Keith Villari reminding you today you're a return of the full spy slot. My crew found a shortcut we become The in game radio provides insight into key events happening across Arrakis. Map the desert, discover landmarks, wrecked ships, and desert testing stations filled with forgotten technology. Arrakis is a vast planet. You can explore unique locations, uncover valuable resources, and search for secrets amongst the shifting dunes. And then, return to civilization triumphant with what you've found. Harko Village throngs with people. Spice traders, guild bankers, smugglers, house envoys, and of course, other players. Here, you will pledge allegiance to one of the great houses of Dune, the Harkonnen. But remember, to play politics, you need power. And on Arrakis, spice is power. In the deep desert beyond the shield wall, hundreds of players scour the landscape, hunting for spice. Every spice blow has the potential to become a heated battle, with multiple guilds vying for the precious melange. Even when it looks like defeat is inevitable, those who understand desert power can awaken Arrakis itself. to PC survive expand control yeah well uh, you can't have a June game without the sandworms and the sandworm summoning begins when June awakening drops on PC early 2025 so the wait is not that long and now here is a reveal of a new game from Tarsier Studios the creators of little nightmares one and two Thank you. THQ from the creators of Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2. And then the next thing you know, they, are, they announced Little Nightmares 3. Nothing lasts forever. I'm just guessing, okay? This might be Little Nightmares 3, this might not. This might be a new game, a new IP. I don't know. I'm just guessing. And as a matter of fact, I've never played Little Nightmares. This definitely feels like a horror game. This definitely feels like a... I thought you were dead. 
Oh, new IP called Reanimal. Okay. Neat. Neat. That was Reanimal, the next big entry in the cozy game genre. Bro, how, how like was that cozy? Contents of Gamescom and receive cool rewards. How was well, that cozy? Epi, the robot on our website RPG Gamescom Epics. Prove your nerd know how. How was that game cozy? Uh? Gather trading cards, digital trading cards, and jump from level to level until the final boss. That game spawns. literally give, giving horror vibes, man. There's nothing cozy in that game. Fourth year as an evolving open world adventure. Today, Genshin Impact is unveiling more about the sixth nation of Natlan, which will be released on August 28th. Okay, I'm and out. We Bye. Have some news. Bye. When the game I'm out. Will be coming, if it's Genshin related, I'm out. Bye. There you go, Genshin Impact, and also coming to Xbox later this year, as we saw. All right, now it's time to head into the wilds of Monster Hunter, which is playable Okay, for something for good for once. Here at Gamescom, Capcom has an incredible booth. But now, to tell us more and show us more, please welcome to the Gamescom ONL stage, Ryozo Tujimoto from Capcom. Ryozo-san. はい、えー、ドイツの皆様、え、配信をご覧の皆さん、こんにちは。え、今日は、え、モンスターハンターワイルズの最新の映像を持ってきました。え、まずは、え、この、え、時間を作っていただきました。ジェフさん、本当にあり
worse for an interim camp. Wow. Once your business here is good, oops, sorry, you should find shelter. My phone dropped. Come alive this time of year, like a wild beast. My phone dropped. My apologies. I was grabbing my, I was grabbing my water, and then my phone dropped. From the look of it, that must be this region's apex predator. Guild permission granted. Begin the hunt. Whoa. Buddy, what am I looking at? Holy crap! It changed forms, and we're back to the spider. We're in the jungle, boys. We're in the jungle. Not jungle, more like we're in the wild, boys. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was so out of the blue, man. What the hell? Lies at every turn. Naraka collaborating with Tomb Raider. Okay. Secrets. I should. Whoa. Okay. Destiny. Everything lost is meant to be found. I should really check out the other, the, the, the other two Tomb Raider games, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, Peter Fury. Let's see how my looks! Let's see how my looks! Want a little taste of... she don't even oh fight. my lord, she looks... New outfit? <laughs> she looks hot though! Biker outfit? Good though in both of her outfits. Not gonna lie. She and I might have to check that trailer one more time later on. She looks so good in both outfits. And I'm just I'm just glad they brought back her classic outfit classic outfit in uh her classic um outfit the the, the red um uh, the red one with the the red kunoichi one. But I didn't expect Mike to have a and a, a totally new outfit as she goes biker, that biker outfit though, but looks good, looks so good, I would say that would look so good. Oh, it's okay, you got me, you got me, okay. And that got me curious how mine is gonna look like in Street Fighter 6 though, because after Terry, Mai is next. Mai is next in the uh Mai is the next DLC character for Street Fighter 6. Next game. Okay, next we have something exciting for fans of Monument Valley, the beautiful twisted puzzle game that we all played about a decade ago when it was first released in 2014. Well, tonight we are revealing Monument Valley 3 coming later this year from Us 2 in London and Netflix games. I played this. It is an absolutely beautiful, stunning game, and we've got your first look right now. Clearing out, just clearing out some stuff in custom line. Hold on. My apologies. <laughs> I 
Just clearing out some dirt on my table. My excuse me. Hopefully the the, the 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 camera doesn't uh doesn't go doesn't freeze when I do this. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Monument Valley 3 drops exclusively oh, okay. on Netflix December 10th, 2024. Okay. Now, first released in 1991, Civilization is one of the gaming industry's biggest franchises. And here at Gamescom, we are revealing the gameplay of Civilization 7 for the first time. To tell us more, please welcome Ed Beach from Firaxis Games. Wow, Civilization has reached their seventh game. Holy crap. And excuse me while I clear Thank some you, stuff. Fox. Thank you, Gamescom. It's hard to believe that it's been almost eight years since Firaxis released our last Civilization game. So we're incredibly honored to be here tonight at Gamescom talking about Civilization 7. Civ 7. I'm pretty Civ sure that really some people will be looking forward to Civilization 7, but, but not for me, man. Made. But not for me. Everything from okay. its new gameplay uh, features to its gorgeous new art style is designed to immerse you in your own journey okay. through history. Please join us after opening night live on the Fraxis Game Twitch channel for our official gameplay showcase, where we'll deep dive into what's new in Civ 7 and finally reveal our new in-game narrator. On behalf of the team at Firaxis Games who has worked so hard on this game, I'm so excited to finally give the world its first look at Sid Meier's Civilization 7. Please, enjoy. Civilization was a game that was created during a time when we were just discovering what games could be. And we said, let's put the entire history of the world into a game and make it fun. So that was how Civilization looked like at first? Holy crap. This is definitely a game for hardcore civilization fans from the way I see it. But for casual, but for new players. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, I mean next year. Official gameplay showcase. Ah. Ever since we first reached for the stars. What is this? We've been asking ourselves. What else is out there? And more importantly, What is this? Huh? Uh, excuse me? What on earth is this? So I can't slow down. No, I can't go down. 
What on earth am I looking at? Velocity at unsafe levels. The Rev 8 has landed. Oh, it's freaking Starfield. It's Starfield. What is this? DLC? DLC for Starfield? There's two bits of Starfield news for you and a confirmation of the expansion Shattered Space that is coming yeah, out on DL September 30th. Expansion, now DLC, same stuff, buddy, Marvel same stuff. The upcoming hero shooter from NetEase Games and Marvel Games. Tonight at ONL, we're revealing two new heroes who are joining the game with a first look at their gameplay. Right. Let me guess, Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> Since the movie came out a few weeks ago. Wakanda found a new hope. Oh, Black Panther. And Wakanda forever. The source of Rest in peace to check me, Boseman, by the way. Of an empire. Oh, Winter Soldier. Captain America. Oh, Captain America and Winter Soldier. So are these the two new characters that they're talking about? Oh, turn on. I don't remember Winter Soldier having that kind of a hand. Okay. Is the voice actor for Cam Captain America in this game the same one for Marvel vs. Capcom? Kinda sounds the same though. Doom! Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Why, 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 why is it implying that Doom is collaborating with with Hydra? Well, I'm sure everyone who played the beta wanted to know Marvel Rivals will launch on December 6, 2024. Now, Gamescom always strives to help the environment. That, and the event runs on 100% renewable that, energy, that might, climate that, friendly, thanks to ongoing right. measures to reduce it CO2. Be a cool idea if, uh, Exhibitors participate in the, the Gamescom goes green the and MCU, by reusing their booth builds or avoiding the MCU of Doctor Doom, and yes, which will be played by Robert Downey Jr. Forest, teams up with Hydra, but let's just see. And all of you what kind of uh, Kevin Feige is cooking in the in, and Robert Downey Jr. is cooking and with for, that, the, for the uh, Avengers the movie. Let's see what they're going to do. Award. This award celebrates an organization in the global game industry committed to sustainability and the environment. Presenting the award, please welcome back Lisa Puck with Playing for the Planet. Playing for the Planet. Shucks and hello Gamescom. Thank you for having me again. Well, it is our absolute pleasure, Lisa. And uh, in case some people don't know and need a quick refresher, Lisa represents Playing for the Planet, an alliance of gaming organizations committed to taking climate action under the official umbrella of the United Nations. So how are things, Lisa? Things are going great, thank you. With 3.3 billion people around the world playing video uh. games, we encourage everyone to make a difference wherever possible. Absolutely, and 3.3 billion players is so, so much. So do you have any tips for our players on supporting this great initiative? Yes, definitely. It's as easy as remembering to set up energy saving modes to avoid unnecessary energy consumption or switching to renewable energy um, electricity services at home to reduce your carbon footprint. Everything will make a difference. Absolutely, every bit helps. Those are great tips, and I already utilize some of those myself, and I hope a lot more people will. But now, let's celebrate some of the amazing work already done by gaming companies. Yes, that would be happy to do that. Anyone can set ambitious decarbonization targets, but delivering on that goal 
and turning it into emission reductions demands a clear and actionable plan as well as collaboration. And this year's winner has proven that it's possible to deliver, to deliver ambition with execution across the board. And this year's winner of the Gamescom Sustainability Award is Tencent Games. And here to accept the award is Brent Irvine, the Vice Chairman of Tencent Games. Uh, first of all, let me say on behalf of Tencent Games how honored we are to uh, receive this award. Uh, you know, Tencent Games uh, encompasses a lot of things, you know, everything from in-house studios like Timmy, global studios like Shark Mob, uh, to our global publishing arm, Level Infinite. What they all share is a commitment to operating our business in a sustainable way. We are committed to carbon neutrality by 2030 and really want to thank all of our studios, all of our partners, but most of all, all of our players whose support is essential to helping us drive our, uh, uh, efforts to, uh, uh, our efforts to have positive change within the industry. Thanks again, and back to the games. Congratulations, Tencent and Brent Irvin. But that is not our only award. Everyone here and at home can vote for their favorite games playable at Gamescom in this year's Gamescom Awards. You can visit Gamescom now to help decide the winners. Voting will only be open until Thursday, August 22nd at 2 p.m. And the awards will then be celebrated this Friday at 2 p.m. at Gamescom Studio. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you, Shox. You're doing a great job tonight. All right. We got something really special for you. Please welcome Deadpool director, creator what? of Love, Death, and Robots, and the co-founder of Blur Studio, Tim Miller. Tim Miller? Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Blur Studio has been making cinematics for over 30 years now. That means classics like Quake, Star Wars, Warhammer, Call of Duty, and dozens and dozens and more. And we do this because we anything else love other than video games. Um, then video game announcement. I am shutting down my cam. And I'm gonna walk out. I'm, just, I'm gonna online, walk out. And then I'm gonna shut up my cam. Could be really. Fans, like, no more any of that stuff. Like Why can't we have a series like this? And we could not agree more. Which is why we are so excited. To share this game announcement is fine, but whether it's an, it's my liking or not, it's entirely at me. With Amazon but any other stuff that is and the not and game of some of the announcement related, I am I'm talking walking out of, titles, out of the cab existing games, and I'm turning off the the the, 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 so the, the cab. We've been working on this show for I will say this. Um, Hopefully none of that stuff anymore. <laughs> choked up, sorry. I cry a lot. Sorry. All right, secret level. Let's see what you got. Let's just see what you got. All right. Okay. We've been working on it for three years, and I'm very emotional because I'm so excited. Uh, and it's finally time. So please enjoy the world premiere teaser of secret level. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. It is our love letter to games. And you can watch the series on Amazon Prime Video on December 10th, not too far now. So enjoy. Thank you. And did I saw Mega Man in one of the in one of those um, anthology? Try not to disappoint us. And I definitely saw Kratos in there. Huh. What power you wield, or what creatures you unleash, we trust you will find a way to write your own legend. Uh, what was the name of this game again? Uh. I've seen trailers of this game before, but I forgot the name.
Oh, right, Age of Mythology. Yeah. I've seen trailer of this before. Back in, I believe back in Summer Game Fest. Yeah. Play it day one with Game some, Pass. Some, some, Summer Game Fest. And the, uh, what you call it? The, tower the, the, the Xbox. Um, what you call it? Xbox. State, state of play. I don't know what the it's official the name. I'm sorry. My memory is kind of hazy. Oh, boy. Never heard of this. More Xbox stuff? What is this? Fallout? No. I don't think this is Fallout, is it? Nah, this is not Fallout. This is another one of those, um... Um... Uh, the conflict between the Alsara Guard and Havoc... Another one of those, um, first-person shooter game. The Alsara Guard is a tempest of disorder. Sowing chaos wherever it roams. But yes, yeah, another FPS game. Strike at their very core. I remember there was a game. There was, there was a game. There was another first person shooter game announced during the summer of game fest, but United, we will I have no recollection of what what's the name of the game though. To find the spark of peace. We are GTI. No one gets left behind. Oh, Delta Force. Okay. Steam Next Fest. Course, which we are announcing is coming to Steam Next Fest in October in advance of its early access release later this year. All right, let's head back to the Middle Ages for a new look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 with its authentic rendition of 15th century Bohemia as an action role-playing game. I have concluded a very fragile truce with Sigismund, and if anyone should disrupt my plans with headstrong acts of violence, there will be consequences. I intend to wage war, not parley. Everything all right, eh? We need more people. The best thing would be to recruit from your old comrades. Well, if they're not already swinging on the gallows somewhere. Will you help us, Henry? Interesting. Very. Interesting. There is much more from that game coming this week during Gamescom. Now, last month, the ARPG Zenless Zone Zero was released oh. from Hoyoverse, and now we've got the debut of a brand new area of new Eridu. Check it out. Okay, nothing new again. Just a new, a new trailer. New area? Oh, right, 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 right. They, they, they're showcasing Jane as of this moment. But for your... If, well, I'm, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna re reveal Jane's identity.
I feel like they really tried the, the the focus is on Jane from the way I see it. Wait. You Oh right! This is a preview for 1.2! That was a preview for 1.2! And now Honkai! One black and one white. Back to back! Almost equal to General Fei Shao. General Fei Shao? I know her well. You do? I know all her deeds on the battlefield by heart. Such as when General Fei Xiao fought her way in and out of enemy ranks seven times. With a single strike, she knocked down a hundred enemies. Huh? A thousand. A thousand in a blow? Ten thousand? Excuse me. This is what my online friends found at the scene. Look! In the form of a beast rushing forward like lightning, General Fei Xiao shouted among the ruins. Are you my master? That's complete nonsense. Nonsense? I have even more impressive stories. Ow. Little girl, do you know how to get to the seat of divine force? Huh? Oh. oh Oh, right. The Fate Sick Night collaboration um, trailer. Archer. That's Archer, by the way. There's a fun little tease, and that was a new look at the space fantasy of Honkai Star Rail and Fei Xiao, a female general known for her prowess in martial arts. Okay, now we're heading to the Arkhamverse for Batman Arkham Shadow. It arrives later this year and is a completely new Arkham story exclusive to MetaQuest 3. I've played a demo of this, and I have to say the team, Camouflage, has done an incredible job bringing the world and combat into VR. And here is your first look at the actual gameplay, a gameplay trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. I wish the, the game is not in uh, VR, though. Not gonna lie, it looks good. But for the game to be actually only available in the like yeah, art, it's kind of a cute joy. I have to stop it, even if it consumes me. Rest in peace to Kevin Conroy. Rest in peace to Kevin Conroy. This rat king could be anywhere. A face in the crowd, a foot soldier in his own fanatical mob. So how in the hell do we find him? Targets are all city employees. Civil servants, public officials. You could have been more than a symbol. You could have been a god. Look out! Someone's going to die. Alfred, we tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Something big's going down tonight. I'm not gonna lie, the trailer looks good, but... We repress our rage. It's kind of unfortunate that this game will be only the ability on VR. Feeds the shadow deep inside us. You're everything that's wrong with Gotham! I'm done holding back! Now, only on Meta Quest D. I can bring the Rat King to you. Yeah, only on Meta Quest 3. Unfortunate that this game is only available on VR. 
Well, that trailer was buzzing, and the whole city is buzzing during this week of games. And this weekend, the heart of our beloved gaming metropolis, Cologne, will transform into the vibrant Gamescom City Festival. There will be great music on three stages in the city center of Cologne on both days with another 100,000 guests. Now, if you haven't been there yet, you should definitely go and check it out. That is what's happening in Cologne, and also people from more than 100 countries are here. But Gamescom has fans all over the world, and I have good news. Gamescom is heading to other continents. The first Gamescom LATAM took place in June and exceeded all of our expectations with over 100,000 fans immersed in the gaming universe. It was a fantastic show, and next year it's going to be even bigger. Oh, Brazil. And Gamescom Asia returns this October. You can join in on the fun and the entertainment area to find out all about Singapore. the games, stage shows, cosplay, and much, much more. The ticket shop is already open, or you it's can always see the online show Primetime on October 17th. Now, who is ready for another world premiere? It's always Singapore. Announced last year at ONL, here is a new look at Little Nightmares 3. I was, <laughs> I was saying, you know, about Little Nightmares 3 um, earlier on, man. What the hell? And now there's a there's a new footage for Little Nightmares 3. This is definitely a game for couples. This definitely, it really is giving me, it takes two vibes, but more on the horror vibe. It takes two, it's more cozy. While this game here is a little more giving more of a horror vibes from the way I see it. From the creators of Far Changing Tides and the publishers of Firewatch, okay. I think I'll just put um, Zender Zone Zero and Punkai Star Wars in one video. It might be better off that way. Because they add Zender Zone Zero first, and then they showed Punkai Star Wars back to back. So. You know what, I might as well just um, put them in uh, one video. Because if I were to edit this video, it's gonna take a while. Considering the fact that there might be some DMCA music just in like it. like that one? That's a beautiful game, hurdling from Panic and Okamotive, and I'm so glad we could share that with you tonight. All right, Gamescom, we have a special guest joining us next. I grew up playing his games, and many of you did too. Titles like Populous, Dungeon Keeper, Magic Carpet, Theme Park, Black and White, and Fable. And tonight oh, he's here Fable. to reveal his brand new game, which he's secretly been working on for the past three years. Please join me, Gamescom, in welcoming to ONL Peter Molyneux. Oh, Masters of Albion. He's back! 
Well, an incredible honor it is to be here on the stage with Jeff. Yes, Peter. And I, he's amazing. It's, this is so fun. So a couple months ago, you and I had lunch in London. I was like, what are you working on? You're like, well, I've actually been working on a game for a number of years. You've kept very quiet about it. Yep. You really wanted to let the game speak for itself. But tell us about Masters of Albion. Right. So after messing around on mobile, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> I thought to myself, I need to come home. I need to come home to PC on console. So I've looked at Dungeon Keeper. I've taken some things that I've wanted to explore further with Dungeon Keeper. I've done the same with Black and White. I've taken the things from Black and White. I've done the same with Fable. And this is what I'm showing tonight. Well, and to your credit, you've self-funded this project yourself. Yeah. You put together a team of a lot of veterans yeah. from those games. Yeah, I mean, I, I think my first realization is I needed to bring the old team back together again. So I'm working with people like Mark Healy and Russell Shaw and Ian Wright, the people that helped on and created Black and White Dungeon Keeper and Fable. Anyway, let's have a look at Masters of Albion. All right, here's the world premiere. Masters of the Albion. The best way to it. Oh, okay. This is Masters of Albion. We're a team of 20 people. I have a feeling that new, they are saving Indiana Jones for the last. Here we are in the familiar vast world of Albion. I have a feeling they're sa saving Indiana Jones for last because so far they've already shown um, They've already shown Call of Duty. They've already shown um, Dragon Ball. All this of the horrible stuff has already been revealed. By day, um, Monster Hunter Wars has already been shown. And earning money. Um, by night, your town will be attacked the only thing by very, many of our I think the only thing that is pretty big anything. The food, is Indiana Jones. The, link, the clothes they wear. The weapons they That's use, the only big, the uh, big thing that hasn't been shown yet throughout this opening night life. I can even feed them rats. My town's working hard to make that food. I can help out or not. Huh? I can also design, customize and create all buildings. Uh. Night is coming, the sun is going down, and now my town needs defending against the horrors of Albion. And this is my hero's time to shine. You don't have to play in god mode, at any point you can possess a character and play in third person. My hero is now under my complete control. And now it's time to fight. But what happens when your character dies though? My hero's getting overwhelmed. Let's switch back to god mode and unleash some real power. Oh. Okay. Okay, we survived the night. Now, let's design a better weapon for my hero. You can be as silly as you want. But bread swords just won't cut it. Bread swords. This is just a glimpse of Masters of Albion, an open world god game full of combat, choices, mystery, and story. It's available to wishlist on Steam now. That game's on mobile? Really? In the fold. I was kind of hoping it would be on PC and consoles, though. Do I was? What the kill joy! It looks good, but it had to be on mobile. Like, why? It is time to awaken. Whatever. Why what's this? Wait. I've seen trailer of this before. 
But I forgot that again, I forgot the name of the game. Because anything that doesn't catch my attention, I was like, nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna save it in my memory. But I remember seeing foot another trailer of this back at what some another showcase. But I forgot which showcase it uh, was it though. But I remember seeing this game before. I journey to step into the unknown. Unknown night awakening. It will be available in like what? In two months time? Arena breakout. The the You can't see you can't see it because I'm blocking I'm blocking it but it, the title really says arena breakout. Here, you know what? Let me just unlock my cam. Let me just drag myself down here a little bit. There. Arena breakout. I'm not lying. Now let me lock this back. This is giving me free to play shooting game vibes. I might be wrong. But on whether this game is free to play or it's a or it's the it's a full package game. And I just realized there's a total of three shooting uh, shooter games has been shown in this in this games com already, which are Hall of Duty, Delta Force, and Arena Breakout. That's three sh Arena shooter Breakout games already. Is now available in early access with the full release coming at the end of the year. Now, over the years, Blizzard has been a big part of Gamescom. Diablo. Yeah, and this week, we are I totally to forgot about Diablo. The the then we'll be showcasing over here. And tell us more. Here's the president of Blizzard, Johanna Ferris. I totally forgot about Diablo 4. Because, for your information, hello, Diablo 4. Hello. We'll hello, be getting a, an expansion. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much for having us on behalf of Blizzard. This is such a massive moment, in the future. but it's such a special time to be sharing it here with everyone at Gamescom, and we're just really honored and grateful to be here. Well, we're very glad to have you guys back, and I know you got a, a big booth with Xbox, right? We do, yes, and come on by if you're here all week long. Because we're proud of it. Um, but it's also a particular for your big information for Warcraft. We have um, celebrations and anniversaries galore. Microsoft Fox, has already um, bought out and of course a Activision very big milestone and this year. Yes, speaking of World of Warcraft, the War Within is and that was probably the, the reason why this month, right? um, yes, it is. And we're just the Marvel versus Capcom of the War Within collection um, August 26th is not available is on any Xbox days, consoles. We'll open up early access for That's players, probably so the reason. About it. Come, out, come on in and join. Microsoft and I just probably couldn't afford any more money to from the team. The uh, couldn't afford any more money on um, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection. Arguably some of the most ambitious we've ever seen. Which is probably the reason WoW why uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection isn't available on any players. Xbox console. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting that this and month I believe the time same for thing that, but, uh, goes for this, as we so the 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 for as you see chaos as well. How can players oh, be a let part me of let me grab my yeah, phone. Yeah, there's a ton of ways we're going to be able to celebrate. So we definitely hope that you join us. There will be in-game events that commence in October, so there will be more way. details on that. But players will be able to earn really cool in-game rewards, and we'll be finding some creative ways to celebrate the history of Azeroth together. Um, and also be on the lookout for our very first Warcraft Yo, Direct, on, where the team will share more in the coming months on SBC, all the things Kios, going on SBC, in the Warcraft yeah. universe. Okay, well that's exciting. Um, now so I was wondering about, you know, all the other Blizzard, Blizzard teams. Are they going to get in and, and celebrate the anniversaries too? They are. There will be some nice surprises. Warcraft stuff. Way, I'm not interested. Sorry. Tonight, the Overwatch Two team. I used to play Warcraft Three um, back, back when I was a teenager. Of World of Warcraft he was a, and the legacy. He was it fun. But then, as time goes by, uh, I found out that, okay, this is this is not a game for me. I will say this. It's not a game for me. It's Widowmaker. 
and she's uh. embracing her allegiance for the Horde as Sylvanas Windrunner. So be on the lookout for more details from the Overwatch team on that. Okay, thanks for bringing a little scoop along, this, along with you. That's fantastic. Uh, now let's move to another franchise Ooh. that is, is, has a, a big year. The yeah, re-release, man. I oh, need yes. to be All re eyes dates. on October 8th. Yes. Um, we are and now they're talking about Diablo 4. For the Vessel of Hatred, and we're even more excited that here at Gamescom this week will be the chance to have the first ever live hands-on experience with our very new Spiritborn class. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's awesome um, to play. And it's definitely according to Wikipedia, part of the Vessel of Hatred so special for us. SNK right, versus well, Capcom, SVC Chaos. SVC well. Chaos. We have here's a look was at our released? companions. So take on, a look on Windows, of the of um, aka PC, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation 4. No modern Xbox console consoles. Suffering, desolation. So, horror. long story short, this Microsoft Livy Span in Sanctuary. I believe it was like what, 70 million? Billion? I'm not really sure. They spent a long so they spent a tons load of money to stand buying and out for those Activision seek us out. and Blizzard. And probably and because of that reason. You fools get uglier. Marvel vs. Capcom collection until we and left SVC Chaos are not available demons. on the Xbox console. But the return of hatred has pulled us back into the light. Yeah! Right, let me just wear this back. And though we now wait, watching from the shadows, we cannot escape who we are. Why we fight. I believe this is the trailer for the Diablo 4 expansion. I believe they have one more game they, they have to showcase, which is um see it. Shoot it. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Strength in numbers. I am your guardian. I am your redemption. I am your vengeance. I am your rage. We are the pale hand, and we are the reason you need never fight alone. Oh, October 8th. That's in um two months' time, I believe. Yeah, it's about about two months' time. That looks great. Thanks for the sneak peek. Of course, and it's my esteemed pleasure to introduce Brent Gibson, game director of Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred. Hello, Gamescom. The team and I are so proud that Diablo 4 is the type of game that has something for all gamers. And in Vessel of Hatred, it's no exception. We are hard at work at adding new ways to play and new ways to grow in power, like mercenaries. Ordinary people with extraordinary skills that you can hire to fight alongside you in your battle against hell. We're also adding the Kurost Undercity, an all-new multi-layered dungeon that gives you the control on the types of challenges you're going to see, as well as the rewards you may get. And we also have the Dark Citadel, our brand new co-op PvE dungeon that challenges everything you know about combat in Diablo through a gauntlet of multiplayer puzzles and mechanics. We're talking about all of it right here at Gamescom. And so stay tuned if you want to see all the things that you're going to see in Vessel of I Hatred to be for sure, well, so that October you guys don't hear me sneeze. And I hope to see every single one of you on the floor all the way through the show. So thank you very much. See you on the floor. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Thanks, Brent. All right, now we're heading to the hardcore action role-playing world of the first Berserker Kazan, set for 2025 release. Intense combat meets oh, breathtaking 3D Kazan. animation in a brutal uh, world from Nexon. Coming I to PC this and console, let's witness the chaos. 
that awaits. This was an origin story of DNF. Okay. The two wolves who defeated the beast will tear into the neck of the aged lion. For years, I faced unrelenting fury, made countless sacrifices, and the result of my devotion was betrayal. Why does that sound like life for Final Fantasy 16? <laughs> that sounds like him though! What was his name? Ben Star? At this rate, you will die. Emperor, you will pay for this. Hey, it sounds like him though. Join me, Blade Phantom. Then I will help you. Yeah. Ben Star, is that you? Are you the one voicing this character? <laughs> but the gameplay though looks sick. constraints of the past are history what the hell is this here you rule the way you've always wanted your choices will remake the world and every turn becomes an opportunity to triumph <laughs> Okay, another world building game that I have absolute zero interest in. It's your and as a matter of fact, right, they've already showcased like what? This is like what, the third world building game already? Play it day one with PC the first game. one was Civilization Server, and then there was um, Age of Mythology, and now that. And now what do we have over here? Uh, no gameplay, no talk, sorry. This is remind me of those live action Call of Duty trailers. And it's a freaking mobile game. What the heck? Next! Next! Dark and Darker Mobile is now available for global pre registration. Now, from NetEase Games, this next trailer is a new life simulation game where players can travel among super-powered worlds to craft their island and engage with friends. Let's take a look. Start. Okay. Flotopia? Oh. Another cute game. Another cozy game. That I have actually zero interest in. I 
I won't be surprised that this is a uh, this game is available on uh, Nintendo Switch or some something like that. Cause this this feels like a Switch game from the way I see it. This feels like a game that you can play while you're on the go. This is definitely one of those games where you can play while on the go. Yeah, I was right! It's available on the Switch, but it's also available on PS5 and Xbox as well. Right, and on PC. Another game to show you, which will take you on an epic global adventure. Indiana Jones yeah. and the Great Circle. Check this out. They def but is this the last trailer for the day? Connection between ancient cultures around the world. A great circle. Does it exist? Is it the key to some lost power? That's up to you to uncover. I'm Troy Baker, and I play Indy. It's humbling playing a character that so many people, myself included, look up to. As a kid, seeing Indiana Jones in the theater for the first time was a defining moment for me. And I never would have guessed that all these years later, I would be the one wearing the hat. But here I am. It's been a dream come true. So Troy, but that's not the only the voice of um, for you this Indiana Jones. Yourself. He's also in the mocap for Indiana the Jones as well. The first-person game like this is that we all get to feel what it's like to become Indy. You are the one who cracks the whip, who feels the weight of every punch and the thrill of finding every clue. Indy is such a unique character. Professor, an archaeologist, a brawler, an explorer, the quintessential all-around adventure. And this game has everything you'd expect from an Indiana Jones adventure. Personally, I feel like this game is better off its beats. Cunning villains. If you can switch between first person view and third person view to be viewed, you guys. It's a constant danger where you've got to think on your feet to stay alive. The Great Circle spans the entire globe, from snake filled jungle temples to scorpion riddled desert tombs. Stunning open areas to explore freely, full of secrets for you to discover. And you'll get more than just the classic whip and revolver, Indy's journal and his camera will immerse you in the mystery, providing extra info on all of your finds so you can appreciate all of the little historical details he obsesses over. And those details are your key to solving the ancient puzzles that hold the secrets you're after. But ancient secrets don't come easy. It's best to have an exit strategy. This is an incredible new way to experience Indiana Jones, and I can't wait for you to play it. Hold on to your hat. Doesn't that look great? A world of mystery to explore. But you're probably wondering when the game comes out, right? Well... December! Oh. It's available on Game Pass, Xbox, and there Steam. You have it. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is coming out this December for Xbox, Game Pass, and PC. But there is one more thing that Machine Games and Bethesda wanted to share with you about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. It's available on PS5 as well. Spe oh! The game's coming to PlayStation 5 in spring on a later day. All right, before this we is, wrap up ONL, we do have this is like a... one final game announcement for you. Check this out. Wait, one more game? This thing of ours. It's a brotherhood. Treachery. And the sin do not exist among us. Wait. Do you wish to commit yourself, your life, to this family?
Mafia? We're getting a new Mafia game? More details end of this year. I'm Nick Baines, president of Hangar 13. What you just saw is the first early look at Mafia the Old Country, a thrilling story set in 1900 Sicily during the origins of the Mafia. We're going back to the roots of what fans love about the Mafia franchise, crafting a deep linear narrative with that classic mob movie feeling. Mafia's success is built on our players' passion for the franchise, and we're so proud to return to Mafia with the old country. We can't wait to show you all more. Thanks for watching. Okay, they've announced a new Mafia game. I thought they're gonna surprise, right? All I right. thought they were going to wrap well, up with a wrap on opening night live from here in Cologne, Germany. And we hope to see you again this December, December 12th, when the Game Awards streams live. Oh, December 12th, well, the Game Awards. Show, and it's going to be a very special I think, I think they will show more on uh, Mafia the on the Game, game Awards. Say much now, I have a gut feeling. Trust me, it's going to be a very special show. All right, well, thanks again to my co-host, Shots. Didn't she do a great job? Thank you so much, Jeff. It was really great to be here. I hope everyone had an amazing time. And can I say something in German, too? Let's do it. I don't want to show you up, but... Uh, vielen Dank, ihr Lieben. Ich hoffe, ihr habt eine super, super Zeit. Und viel Spaß auf der Gamescom. Well done, German, as opposed to mine. I'm learning. All right. Thanks so much, Shox. Thanks, to everyone. Enjoy Gamescom. Have a great night. And that's the end of Gamescom opening night live. It was a decent show. It was a decent show. And there, 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 were, there are good trailers. I see it gets a 7 out of 10 for me. There are really good trailers like the the, the Fatal Fury trailer, the the Indian Ones was okay. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 looks good, not, not gonna lie. And then I didn't expect them to announce a new uh, Mafia game along with a new Borderlands 4 game. So I think it's a decent uh, live show. And I'll definitely will be looking forward to the Game Awards, which will be on December 12th, I believe. I will definitely, I will definitely will be checking that out without shadow it out because I'm kind of curious who will win this year's Game of the Year. And from the look of things, it is very high likely that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth might win this year's Game of the Year. But then again, it's August, it's still ridiculously early. We'll see how things go. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on the games called Opening Night Live and what games are you guys looking forward to? Feel free to comment down below. Personally, I'm looking I'm kind of looking forward to the video for me considering the fact that my is already my is uh, it's already confirmed that my will be in Fatal Fury, that's for sure. And there, there are a few other games that kinda of interesting, but it just didn't really Rapid. Then again, this is just um, my personal thoughts. And as, okay, and as a matter of fact, and so far, it's been a good show. But most of the shows, um, is most of the games that have that has been shocking so far is the trailer themselves. They're good, but it's just the games themselves. They're just not for me. I have to. Uh, I, I will see this. But anyway, feel free to comment on what are uh, what games that are that you looking forward to the most and which game you think will win this year's game of the year. Anyway, my name is AJ and I will see you guys in the next video. Without you.